Satnam. And Namaste. Welcome back to our gathering this Wednesday. I hope you're all doing wonderful. If you're super new, welcome to the group. And if not, hello, beautiful people. So today, I was going to use a completely different deck. Um, I went in to grab my deck just now and Rumi wanted to share a message. So we're going to pull from Rumi this evening. Alana Fairchild's Rumi Oracle. And the beautiful divination that we just pulled for us tonight is number 11, Sacred Convergence. And I'm loving this already because our Wednesdays really are Sacred Convergence and we all gather together. Roaming about town, the master was holding a light, saying, I am wary of the demons and the beasts. A human is what I am longing for. The human cannot be found. We have searched. What cannot be found is what I am longing for. Although poor and needy, I will not accept small pieces of ruby. The mine of the finest rubies is what I am looking for. One hand holding a cup of wine and the other the curls of the beloved a dance like this in the middle of the circle is what I am longing for. How I have longed for you, my very own. Look no further for the family beyond your family, the relationship beyond all other relationships, the great love that unveils all other loves to be mere reflections of the one great and true love is here for you now. It is I who has sought you through the stirrings of your own heart. Yes, t'was I, hidden beneath every secret, yearning for something more, something full, something special, something all-encompassing. Behind every yearning, always, I have hidden. Now I show myself to you, that you may become so filled with the same passionate devotion that I hold for you, that your mind will fall away, overwhelmed by the sheer intensity of love tossed into an ocean of silent, unending bliss. Come to me. We are to be one now in sacred convergence of silent, eternal passion. Sacred convergence indicates a coming together of souls in alignment with a greater cause. This greater cause is both personal and impersonal. There is an aspect of joining together for common purpose, although that purpose may not be immediately obvious at a level of day-to-day -day consciousness. That common soul purpose may be to lift each other into new greater love and self-belief, to shed fear and open the heart, filling each individual soul with more holy fire for its personal passionate purpose. You'll have a sense when this process is happening. There will be a coming together of you with like-minded souls who hail from all walks of life, and yet together, through some invisible genius, you will know each other and help each other. You may simply be dancing in the same room or singing in a group, attending a class or workshop, or just visiting the same beach or park space. But at that moment, there will be a sense of something coherent and nourishing happening at a far greater level. This trickle-down effect into your personal life will be felt too. You'll have more energy after spending time with these people, even if you don't interact very much on a personal level beyond being in the same space. You'll feel empowered to step forward on your path and love yourself with less conditions. You'll become freer to shed your fears, to let go of relationships based in fear and judgment. Open up to those more loving, responsive, inspiring to continue on your own personal journey in increasing profound ways. This oracle has come to you because you are a part of a greater sacred convergence happening now. Perhaps you've already sensed its progression, or perhaps it will not be obvious to you. But the effect, whether obvious or subtle, will be more important to your soul development and divine awakening. You are being asked to drop defenses and barriers toward groups of people that feel good for you. However, those damping your spirits or drag you down are to be dispensed with, no matter what games of blame or manipulation they may play to keep you coming back for more. No, that shall not do for your soul growth now. Just step away. 
Turn towards those connections that feel nourishing to your soul and learn to share yourself without fear. Just be. You don't have to force the planets to spin nor the great cycles of the soul to happen. All that's required is that you show up for what's offered to you now. Do your part. Take your steps. Dance, sing, and be, and allow the gifts of sacred connection to change your world from this is the spiritual gift presented to you now. This oracle comes with a special message. Perhaps you've been thinking about shedding lower vibrational connections based in the ego world or power games, sabotage, manipulation, and fear. Perhaps you've already begun this process or even shed so many you're feeling you might have overpruned to be left with nothing and no one. Do not fear, feisty angel of love. Your truth is prevailing. You cannot stay in a vibration of fear if you want to dwell in a vibration of love. Whilst you learn to sustain that vibration within you until it cannot be rattled by any crisis or demand, you are wise to place yourself in a more nourishing connection. If you want a plant to grow, why not give it the best soil and conditions in which to do so? Certainly the plant of love can and will grow in the most inhospitable conditions, but it can be rather more joyful to grow in gentler, more nourishing conditions if possible. This oracle comes to you with guidance that the possibility for more joyful relationships and growth of love within is your power. You can choose each day, every moment, just make a choice. Trust yourself, your discernment, and your intuition, and choose. You do not owe anyone anything. Repeat this law of karma. You only owe love the chance to grow. So let that be your guiding principle now as you release the old and trust that even if your garden of relationship becomes sparse for a while, You've been cutting back on healthy plants to allow for new life to flourish. It is only a matter of timing for the season of new life and growth to come again, and so it shall, bringing with it sacred convergence of souls on the path of love. Your soul tribe, your soul family, your new tribe of those journeying upon the path of love. The honoring ritual is as follows. Say after me, Rumi who loves me unconditionally. I open to your grace. I hereby declare I am willing to release those connections that no longer serve my spiritual growth on the path of love. I release relationships based in fear and am open to those based in love. I surrender the need to know, to judge, to assert, control, and to be in the right. I open up to tolerance, intuition, and honoring of my heart. I open to love. Show me the way, brother of my soul. Guide me through your grace into the sacred convergence of my soul and divine love in its most gracious expression now and always. I call in my soul tribe of love, and I open my heart to nourishing connections in all ways now. So be it. Close your eyes and relax. And when you're ready, with your hands resting on your heart chakra, just open your eyes and you've completed this ritual for this particular divination. I think that's kind of really excitingly wild and funny because I just finished gardening. I like to garden with the moon cycles and at night plants come to me at moon cycles. It's really interesting. I absolutely love it and it was really awesome. And um, this really screamed to be read and I really love that the message is to find your true nourishment, your love nourishment, where there's no attachment or judgment or fear or worry or anxiety gardening. Uh, I've been traveling, I had been traveling so much for such a long time, years actually, that I hadn't been able to get my hands in the soil and it had been years. And just a few months ago I started really gardening again and I personally love 
planted gardens because I can move them around and you know change them however I'd like them to change and it really is a reflection of my life it makes me completely more aware of other happenings and circumstance and situations in my life taking care of these plants once a day I take care of them more than once a day I'm a little over loving of my plant babies but a little bit of water every day keeps them happy growing blossoms staying in the Sun without drying out being comfortable just a little bit of care it takes a little bit of time in my morning ritual to take care of my plants and they take care of me they're like little plant they're my plant babies they're like little people and something so simple as taking care of plants has broadened my horizons for caring for myself and seeing how sometimes when a task feels so big that you're never going to finish it or you're not going to get to it or you have a b c d to do before you get to your task if you just do something tiny every day you nourish yourself somehow take yourself out of a stressful situation put yourself into a nourishing situation if you like dancing take a dance class or gather people together and like have a little dance go around strangers people will you vibing to attract your tribe people will find you I know what it likes what it is like to feel lonely I know what that's like and I know what that's like to call in people lately I feel like as I put out my beacon more in the most random circumstances I am meeting these people that are seeing either the qualities or the aspects or the things that I'm calling out without even realizing I'm calling them out so do something simple and nourishing for yourself and I hope for the rest of this week or however long that takes for you to find something that truly makes you feel nourished and whole find that give yourself the time even if it's a couple minutes a day go in your visualization or in a visualization and go inside your heart and go into yourself into your beautiful garden and get, keep walking your garden just for a few minutes every day just water your garden even if it's just a mental image of you watering your garden you see people that you wish to come across even if they're faceless or they are just flowers themselves it gives something a a visual connection so you can resonate farther I think verbal and visual connections and traits like that will help you call in exactly what you're looking for or more what's looking for you also it goes both ways so don't be scared to put yourself out there really be free and I hope you find something that nourishes you send you off in the most unconditional love and the highest vibrations of light. Have a beautiful rest of the night and a fabulous rest of your week. Thank you for joining me.